Good day learners. This presentation is about the analysis and interpretation of financial statements. If you're in grade 12, it will be related to companies. Should you be in grade 11, it would be related to partnerships. And for our grade 10 learners, the same applies to the sole trader. Now, as you know, financial statements are prepared for various role players. And these role players are all reading the financial statements for various reasons. And they will be asking certain questions which the financial statements will be able to answer. So this presentation is essentially, essentially around the five main questions readers will ask when reading the financial statements. The first question is around how profitable is this business? And when we're talking about the profitability, we are talking about how well does it control its expenses and how efficiently is this business operating? The second question relates to whether the business can pay off all its debts. So the second question a reader may ask when reading the financial statement is, can this business pay off all its debts? If something were to happen tomorrow, would we be able to pay off all our debts? Which brings us to the third question. This question relates to the immediate or current debts of a business. And so the question would be, can the business pay off its immediate debts, its current debts, without any trouble? And of course this relates to its working capital. It relates to are we using our working capital efficiently? The fourth question is something the owners will essentially ask. And that is, are we as the owners earning a good return on the capital invested in the business? In the case of a sole trader, it would be one owner. Am I as the owner earning a good return? In the case of a partnerships, it would be related to the partners. And in the case of a company, the question would be, are the shareholders earning a good return on the capital invested in the company. So you see that these questions can be asked irrespective of the type of business we're dealing with. The final question is, what is the extent to which the business is financed by borrowed funds? Borrowed funds, does that ring a bell? Meaning loans taken out by the business? So to what extent is the business financed by borrowed funds and how does this affect the degree of financial risk because when we are borrowing funds when we are taking out loans there is a degree of risk attached to that now let's look at each of those questions if we take the first question how profitable is the business how well does it control its expenses and is the business operating efficiently? The key word there is profitable. And so when we're looking at the category this question relates to, we are looking at profitability, right? So if you get a question in the exam asking you about profitability, then you know that this is the question it's referring to. And what should we then be looking at? We should be looking at things like the expenses, the operating efficiency of the business. Now there are many key words in what I have just said. Profitability is about how profitable is the business. We're looking at its expenses and how efficiently is the business operating. The next question can the business pay off all its debts? Now, 
that concept of all its depths refers to the concept of solvency. In other words, are we solvent or are we insolvent? Right? So when we are looking at solvency, should you be given a question on solvency, you would have to look at all the debts of the business. The third question is around whether the business can pay off its immediate or its current debts. And that refers to that category or that concept of liquidity. So when you are asked anything about liquidity, you will be looking at current. Remember I mentioned the word instead of immediate we can say it's current debts. We are looking at the current debts of the business. The fourth question was around the return. Are the owners only a good return? And that's the key word there. And so the concept of return relates to this question of whether the owners are earning a good return on the investment. Remember, they have in, as owners, they have invested money in this business. They could have invested their money elsewhere. And so the question they need to ask is whether this investment has given them a good enough return. The final question was about the financial risk and to which extent the business is financed by borrowed funds, loans, etc. That relates to the concept of risk and gearing. Risk and gearing. Now, when we're looking at, when we're dealing with analysis and interpretation, you will immediately think of financial indicators. But I want you to please first understand these questions and the concept related to each question before you come to the financial indicators. If you understand these questions properly and well, then the whole aspect of calculating and analyzing financial indicators Will be a, you will find that a lot easier. So I've got an activity here for you to do. It's just a simple matching activity. You have the concepts in this first column, the concept of profitability, solvency, liquidity, return, and financial risk and gearing. I want you to just take a page and write down next to each of these concepts, which question does it answer? If you're looking at profitability, which of these questions would relate to profitability? I'm going to give you a minute just to look at that and then I'm going to reveal the answer to you. Another hint when answering something like this is to actually read the question and then look at which it refers to instead of first looking at the concept and then looking at each of the questions. So you would first say to what extent is the business financed by loans in comparison to capital and then you'd go and see is it profitability, is it solvency, is it liquidity, is it return? I'm sure you've got the answer now. Yes, it is. Number five would be A. To what extent is the business financed by loans? So go through each of those and then I will reveal the answer. sure you have it now. Let's look at the answer. Yes, remember we said, let me just go back. Right. 
remember we said number five was about risk and gearing and A was risk and gearing so these they are the answers to those five questions I trust you understand those concepts now and so when we continue with the calculation of financial indicators you will understand quite well where to find the information and which indicators are related to each of those concepts. That's all for now.